This is the story of House Westem and the Silmuna family. A great house fallen on increasingly hard times in the great empire of Ambinar. There was a time the name Silmuna commanded respect and even fear, but those days are long gone. Although at present the leader of Westem is a powerful battle mage known for her considerable abilities, the state of Westem itself is one of decline, economic hardship, and humiliation. In the Fifth Lilac War, Reign of the Second Madelaire formed the Wolf Party and declared a war to attempt to push the tyrannical Empress off of the Dove Throne, but was met with nothing but total and complete defeat. The Wolf of Madelaire was exiled from Ambinar, but offered the throne of Laurent, as her distant family there had died out entirely. Now her granddaughter sits upon the seat of Westem, and the split between the family over the outcome of the war is extreme. Brian Silmuna, a distant family member who had held things together, has sailed west to Aelantir in exile as part of the terms of unconditional surrender in the war before. With the wolf's old holdings in Madelaire underneath the control of her granddaughter, tensions between Lorne and Westem, as well as their allies in the Great Ording, grow increasingly tense. It is only a matter of time before a war breaks out, one Westem is most certainly not prepared for. Reign of the Third Silmuna has made true on her pledge of loyalty to the new Emperor, who unlike his mother has been just and even-handed. The Marquis of West End wants nothing more than to follow her relative Brian Silmuna to explore and colonize the new world, yet this may prove impossible. We're gonna go general staff ideas, I wrote a big roleplay post last night. We're founding basically a giant war college, which I basically kind of suggested was like medieval strategy games. Um, in uh, in our capital, so we'll need to build a fortress there at some point too. It's gonna be called the Brian War College, named after our old leader who lost us to Fifth Lilac War. So we have a war college now. Greetings. I wish to speak with um, Madeleine Sylvivan of Rulasard, if uh, he has the time. Of course, I have the time. Would you like to talk in a separate channel? If or... you wouldn't mind, absolutely. Hello, hello. Greetings. It is good to speak we... with you, Madeline. Of course. Well, I, Always I, wonderful. I, I, I assume this is uh, the region. I didn't catch your name. Oh, well, yes, yes. The region. Madeline Zivivion. Ah, Madeline. Wonderful. A pleasure. Glorious heir, Ruben. Ah, still a young lad. Coming up a bit. Quite young. Yes. It, I have fears that our lovely regent may die before he is able to take the throne. Ah, but besides sure. that... What is, well, what uh, what would you like to discuss? I wish to have a very frank discussion with you about how all our future relationship will be. As you know, I, I have been involved in my, my, uh, my father, Lawrence, when he was of age, and of course uh, my mother before she was banished. We're all very involved with the politics of the realm and the empire and the Fifth Lilac War, which, as you know, did end very well for us. But in all of the course. ensuing conflict, as I look back upon Western Canner, I now find... A lever, large amount of Rolasar territory in regions that not only do we have a claim over, but uh, we had even expressed our desire to, to take in the future. So you understand that I now have find myself in a bit of a quandary. I am not a woman who seeks war. The Fifth Lilac War has taught me that that leads to not often but destruction. However, I also find myself in the position of not really being... Uh, acceptable to the current state of things regarding our borders. So I, I'm not a woman who likes to waste time. I was taught I supposed to be diplomatic, but I find it's best to often state one's mind. Would be the oh, transference oh. of Karnatar and Ellison to myself. In exchange, a royal marriage and an unofficial out of roleplay. It'd be an alliance, but you're a vassal, so I can't give that to you. But at least a royal marriage. It's quite a ni nice offer to have an ally in the Empire compared to the Laurent. At the moment... Even as an autonomous vassal, we do not have the authority to sell provinces. I'd have I'd have to talk to Laurent. Understandable. Because there are certain things that he ha that he has for. Um... If you need time to speak with uh, Queen Reina, <laughs> you are you are welcome to do so. But I will Thank say you. I'd rather cooperate with the rule of Sardis than be an enemy. So I do hope very... that we can come to a reasonable compromise. This is an mm -hmm. official declaration. Very well. For this very hour. Good day. Shit.
Shit, shit, shit. I have to go take a trip to the Empress. Uh, Emperor, I'll be right back. Try to do that during the Your session. Majesty. Uh, I am an envoy hello, from the West. Loyal subject. How may I address you this? I apologize oh, for your interruption, but we are honored to fight alongside the Great Ording, and I regret to inform you that Laurent has has begun a, a a declaration of war that we were not ready for. Oh, he's going to slaughter my armies when they were training. That is so fucking... Ah, as such, I know that the Ording is not within the Empire, but they wish to be. And I formally, as your loyal subject, call upon the aid of the Emperor and Ambedar. The Emperor will answer your call. Great Ording is seen as a part of the Empire, so we would consider this a violation of our truce, and as such, we will intervene militarily to destroy the Laurentish swine, who for too long have plagued the lands of Kanor with their dishonesty and betrayal. I could not put it better myself. You are truly a wise and good monarch. Oh, he's selling my fleet too. To do such a thing. We look forward to it. I will apologize. Thank you. My armies are slaughtered. My fleet lies at the bottom of the Bay of Wines. I will be of no help to you. But I myself, or my my Marquise, she is a great battle mage who would be happy to fight alongside you, of course. I should mean would be, would be willing to accept to... your assistance. However, I am currently mustering my forces to march. I was not expecting this war to occur. So I did not either. It is a tragedy. I would think Lauren had to have learned their lesson after the Fifth Lilac War. But regardless, we are where we are. I am your humble servant, and so is my Marquise. Anything you need from us. Their ports, we would put a massive amount of pressure upon them. G Great Ording has surrendered. I wish to speak to... Uh... Wait, they surrendered already? He's got... Oh. We, he, he surprised wars us. We got our armies wiped. Uh, greetings! And what this is Reyna, uh, Silmuna. I have a ride formally with your armies, and uh, I will be fighting alongside you. It is good to see you again. It's good to see you as well. And what does the envoy of Laurent wish to say here? Uh, we wish to offer peace under... Uh, um, make mainly the uh, return of uh, Madelaire to my own person. You're asking for Madelaire? The lands of my We would my never in a million years dream of granting you more imperial territory. Great ordering. If you wish to take the Duchy of Madelaire, then you must pry it from my cold, dead hands. You know, it happens to me that I was unable to help in this war. But, uh... No, of course, we have heard that rumors awesome. that they have entirely yeah. sacked West Dam. The city is in flames. There are many of them there. 60,000 odd. Should we not wait for reinforcements? According to my informants, there are around 40,000 in... Very well. I will do my best. It was not enough. I, I, I did worry about this. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. Truly, they have a preponderance of force. Uh... One only wishes that they did not attack the Duchy of Greedo. Uh, I believe Pearl Sedge left. Yeah, he just left. We're allies and he took my territory? He, you need some money? Mm -hmm. I, I am in so much debt. <laughs> I am in so much debt. Oh, I did the sorry, burger loan, so it could be worse, but... I owe money to Silverforge for the crowns we commissioned. I have to pay them first, and then I'll send no you a little bit of relief money. Alright. Well, we do thank the Regent for protecting West Dam, and I will reaffirm my pledge that we are a loyal vassal. From now, I'm glad and for all my days. I'm glad to hear of your loyalty. Pearl's Edge, how can you justify owning part of my territory when we're allies? Your territory. Yes, Stoneview. That's West Dam land that you now have as a vassal under Netcliff. When? It has been leased to me by Moonhaven. We do have a colony, so we don't have ships to keep exploring. We're going to need more ships. Um. <laughs> Alright. We found a husband. He lied about his age. I'm on the draft. Reyna was experimenting with battle magic and died. Um, as a result, you are now dealing with a 16 year old. Um. Yeah, the 16 year old leader of West Dam. Tyler. No, that's the region. So the air is 9, the region is 16. The current state of affair is in the roleplay what I'll say, 
is that Reina, Reina the Third, she was a battle mage, and given the formation of the War College, which we still can't afford to build, uh, she was experimenting with some cutting-age battle magic. Very dangerous stuff that she had no business doing, and she killed herself. Not intentionally, but it did happen. And as such, she did left, uh, we're going to call him a bastard too, her bastard son, Lauren Silmuna, who I think we're going to probably make the illegitimate son of that fucking Nothalaris pirate captain just for fun. Uh, who's a 353? Uh, we're going to make him, uh, he will be our heir, so he'll come of age. He has no support. Brian Silmuna is an alien tier. He got exiled. His great-grandmother is the fucking queen of, of uh, Laurent. She hates us. There are no other main branch Silmunas. There's the illegitimate branch over in fucking Lex. So we have no family to support us. Um, we Our regent is like the, the husband of our mother who married her. It's our stepfather who we would have gotten like a month before she died. So he's got no one at this point. I mean, he's got the court, you know, nobles who would be loyal to him, I guess. But, man, this kid's, he's going to have a rough upbringing, dude. Our ships are continuing to explore in the west, which is good. There are many avenues for colonization. We do have vampires. Reina the Second did invite the vampires in. We're not going to work with them, though. If we'd kept her, we would have. She got ousted, so we're going to be anti-vampire. We're kind of stuck with them for... Until we get a leader who might be interested in them. We'll rebuild our army as big as we can. We'll get it drilling. Uh, and then we're going to rebuild our navy. We're going to build a trade fleet. And then we're going to rebuild a, uh, a military fleet. We're going to rush professional officers. Because roleplay wise. Given that we have a war college we'd have them. We don't have a war college. We have a war construction. That we lack the funds to fully build the war college. So it's just a bunch of our generals and soldiers camping out. With like... Just take 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 an imagine with me. So like what I was doing with the war college is outside the city of West Dam on the coastline, we're building a giant fortress where basically they're gonna play like paper EU4 to study war and do like war drills in the fields outside of it. But since we lack the money to build it, what it basically is is like a bunch of like half set up stone foundations for a giant fortress, and then a bunch of fucking tents with all of our soldiers. That is the Brian War College right now. So it's, it's an impressive place. One day, it will be worthy of its name. Like, I'm just imagining, like, again, a cup, like, some laid stone. Like, the part of a foundation of laid stone, you know, that goes under the ground a little bit, right? And then, like, in that, like, ditch with probably lots of rain, there's a bunch of fucking tents. So, it's it's just an absolute somber affair. It is very low quality. Our troops probably fucking hate us. They're very poor trained. We're not drilling them at all. They didn't get fucked. All right, we're a tactical genius. So we, we have a very intelligent, very tactical, very militarily oriented Silmuna. Um, so we're not going to be under the control of the Ording. And we're going to... Alright, so he had a rough childhood, right? His is his father, he never knew. He's, he's a Nothalir pirate captain. We may roleplay that later. His mother fucking died experimenting with battle magic when he was six. He was raised by a hostile regent for like six years. But when many, many would become weak. Many, many would be overpowered by such a strong region. Not Lawrence the Fourth. No, no. All right. Uh, in Lassiande, there have been prominent dwarf cartels rising, seeking fortune, following together with many groups of dwarves to improve their influence in the area. This has led to them being more influential than before. They have even been able to supply the area with new quality goods. This will undoubtedly benefit our trade, but in return for their continued services, they demand some privileges. These privileges worry our own merchant class, however, who claimed that they would be outcompeted to let this happen. We would disagree, because we are currently still in debt to the merchant guild. We're not going to fuck with him, but we will we will disagree to it. So. He's a tactical genius. We've had the neck taken from us due to our influence within the Empire. We have had our lands in the West sieged by Laurent. Knowing all this, and knowing the weak position of West Dam, we must look to our strengths. First off, we'll finish building the War College, which will be represented by a fortress in West Dam. When the War College is finally done, we will we will also need to seek out strong allies for us to take back lands that are rightfully ours. We must regain strength, and we must continue to colonize the West. Is he already... Dude, Brian Silmuna just died. What do you say this poison. is his brother? He's also a poison. tactical genius! He's so incompetent, but... Oh my god. Alright. Uh, Rion the first, who's very similar, but he is no diplomatic skill. I do not have time <laughs> yeah. to speak with long-winded diplomats when my brother has died and the realm is in ruin! Get to your goddamn oh, well. point! 
I'm uh, giving you money to calm down. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Take this gold and drink well, wine. If, if it's help you need, you might want to. Who the fuck is this? Power. Who are you? Listen, oh, I, I don't I, know who. I'm How dare you I'm speak leaving. to me like that? The ah. Golden Lion, King Alaris of Elizna. Oh, a, a king in in Westem. I we talk with your forefathers. Apologize, I didn't realize that we had a king coming. Did no one fucking tell me right, to apologize, Your Majesty? I apologize. You, you you do not seem incapable to be of aid to me in this war. Um, I I would agree. Oh. Our fleets lie sunk by the Laurentish, and we have lacked the money to rebuild them. Uh, we have a small force. They're not well trained, if I'm going to be frank with you. Well, uh, have some money out of my pity. Uh, I will leave. Pity? Now. Ah, beggars can't be choosers. Are we just the <laughs> fucking pauper kingdom of Aminar now? That's what this looks like. <laughs> Loris uh, came in like his like in this golden. He's in this golden clad robes. Um, just l laid down. You uh, walked just... in. There were no guards outside. We couldn't afford yeah. them. Okay. The d yeah, the just... door was also slightly hanging off of the front of the palace. It's not yeah, a good place. Like... Okay, he's just taken out his purse, like dropped it in, uh, in front of you. Looked slightly disappointed and left again, uh, sailing yeah. away. I, I wanted to do that. Diplo, but I just got a, a zero Diplo leader, so uh, he's the rougher one. What we'll say, you know why he has zero Diplo? Because he's basically like, he was never expected to inherit or anything. So he was the one that went off and basically we'll say that he was on a pirate ship. So he's a very, a very rough man. We have another heir. 